What's up friends? Welcome back. You're here to see how I saved $100,000 on my backyard renovation paver project. It's easy. Just by doing everything myself and not paying for a contractor to rebuild our fence, my neighbor and I did that, not having to pay a professional tree cutter to come out and cut down not one, but two trees, and just the whole process of laying pavers in the backyard, we saved a ton of money. I knew if I had the strength to pull this off, I needed to try because we did not have that kind of money to begin with. So if you ask how much did this project cost from start to finish, I'd say it doesn't matter how much I spent because it was a hundred thousand less than if I would have hired multiple contractors to get everything done that I was able to accomplish. Now let's get into this. I rented a plate compactor from Home Depot so I could flatten out the dirt. Overall, the plate compactor was easy to use. You turn it on and you let the machine do the work. All I did was steer it because the machine was extremely heavy. Home Depot will load the machine onto your vehicle, but I recommend you use two people to get it off your truck. Stay safe, friends. So the dirt was flattened, prepped for the base rock and leveling sand that I purchased from Evergreen Supply. If you already saw my paver foundation video, I recommended this company for all your landscaping projects. They have fair prices and great service to help you out. Now here's the fun part, buying the pavers because I knew I was close to bringing my dream to a reality. No more walking through a Jumanji backyard full of plants and weeds and bugs. Ugh. We are finally getting ready to start laying pavers. Hallelujah. So far so good. The pavers are nice and level. They seem pretty straight and I'm liking how this is turning out. By the way, I hope I'm bringing you value with this content because I'm personally learning so much about landscaping and I'm having fun. I'm halfway done with laying the pavers and I'm feeling good. I'm starting to come up and smell the roses. So far, everything's working out how I planned in my head. Just have to continue with the process. I've seen videos where people have prepped all of the leveling sand first, but with this project, I wanted to prep the leveling sand row by row and do it that way. There's many ways to get her done. Here, I had to pause the paver project and cut the rest of this tree down because what better time to do it than now? Back to my paver project. I'm almost finished. I can taste the finish line. We're so close and I just can't wait to be done. I had one more section to complete of the pavers in that corner area and then I would be fully done with the paver portion. I decided to lay cement edging around the foundation. The reason I went with this instead of buying the plastic edging from Home Depot is because I wanted to get the experience number one and number two, it's way cheaper to do it like this than buying the plastic six foot edging from Home Depot. The polymeric sand that I laid also helps keep the pavers glued together. So everything combined helps create a solid foundation. I feel like the cement edging came out nice. I just had one more section to complete, but it's been over a year since I completed this project and the pavers have not separated, not even a little bit. So the cement edging is doing a great job keeping everything together. All right, so what's left for me to do was cut out the rest of the tree, cut the nopales tree, finish laying the cement edging, lay down my lava rock, and complete the entrance to the pavers. It's easy. I purchased these 16 by 16 pavers from Home Depot because I wanted to give it a better look instead of walking over dirt to get into the backyard. My suegro's over here helping me lay pebbles around the pavers. Gracias, suegro. And here is how that turned out. The pebbles work perfectly with the pavers and it makes the whole area look way better than before. So now let's back it up a bit. Remember how everything looked when we first started? There was Jumanji all around the backyard, every corner you turned, weeds all over. It was a mess. Well, with all our hard work and determination, our persistence, consistency, and the strength from the man upstairs, voila, here is the completed look. You have your blue rock to the left, your lava rock to the right, paver foundation in the middle, nice little coralito for my son to play in the backyard. No more weeds, thank goodness. We love how it turned out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thanks for following me along in this journey. I hope I brought you value and I was able to not only teach you something, but also give you motivation the way you're motivating me to continue my DIY projects. It really feels good to save $100,000 by getting out there and learning how to do all of this stuff on my own. And with the help of YouTube as my teacher, these are skills I can pass down to my son one day, and that is priceless. 
Thank you all, and I'll see you in the next video.